what can men do to ensure that they're staying true to themselves and true to their natural state? Yeah. Okay. So that's a that's a, a loaded question here and a really good one. So the first thing is I would highly recommend for whatever age uh, the guy, the man is, is to find a good mentor. Find a mentor who's in his natural state, in a good relationship, is successful from the perspective of maybe financially successful, whatever that looks like, right? But you want to find those men that are in, you can say, um, in their natural state that are good in their own shoes and their own skin. They feel good in their own skin. I was thinking about this this morning train is, you know, there's some guys and there's nothing wrong with this, right? Like, don't get me wrong. Style is awesome. Spending money on shoes and jackets and clothes and suits is awesome. But there's something that I learned that my grandfather taught me. This is the old saying. It's the man that makes the clothes. It's not the clothes that make the man. And we have to understand that. Do we feel good in our own skin? So one of the things that we have to figure out is do we figure do we uh, feel good in our, in our own skin? And a lot of men don't. So surround yourself with other men that feel good in their own skin. And you can tell when people are faking it and when they're not, because when they're faking it, they're trying to they're, it's they're putting on a persona, right? And you can you can see right through that. So find mentors. I think that's one of the key things that we can do, and we've lost touch with that. The other one is look out for elders. And the wisdom from my elders, because find someone who's in their 60s, 70s, 80s, and learn from them. I wish my dad was still around, right? He passed away at 64. I wish my grandfather was still around because they taught me core principles of being a man. And I wish I could still learn from more, more from them. So that's another one. Physical work is another aspect. We have to get back into doing physical work as men. Because sitting at a desk or doing, you know, cognitive tasks is great, but we are designed to do physical work. So we have to get out there, whether that's, and I'm not talking about sport. I think sport is great. And I think everybody should. I'm not talking about exercise because exercise is important. I'm talking out there, going out there and doing something, whether it's cutting the grass, building a fence, building a deck, you know, whatever you need to do to get out there and do some old school physical work. Cause that's going to bring us back to our roots there. Um, Great. I think the other one is actually educating ourselves on masculinity, educating ourselves on biology, right? Because it's hard. The first point for men to be able to change is to understand what masculinity is and understand that it's okay to be masculine. And, and it's not necessarily in, in today's society, it's not easy to do that because we're getting mixed messages. And so getting awareness of what it means to be a man through old school books, I think stoicism is great because if you take a look at some of the old books of, from you know, Meditations of Marcus Aurelius or other books from the olden day ages, um, there's a lot of learnings in there for men in particular, a lot of learnings. And philosophy, this is something that I br brought back into my life because my grandfather introduced it to me and then I brought it back about 15 years ago, is philosophy is such a powerful thing for men. It's a way of living. And when we go back to how the ancient times were, a lot of that stuff still applies. Like, know thyself. <laughs> you know, we've forgotten about that. Know thyself, right? And, and how do we know thyself unless we actually, um, you know, this is kind of an offshoot, but we, society used to have rituals for boys to become men. And sometimes those rituals were not necessarily, I'm going to say, um, healthy. Some of them were probably darn right primal, but there was a passage for boys to become men and to say to themselves, they've taken another journey. I don't see that passage anymore, right? We don't have really anything in society that enables boys to become men. It's just kind of like boys still stay boys. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to stop there and I'm going to open it up because I'm sure you got tons of wisdom to share here as well. I think the passage one is a fantastic recommendation because there has to be something that you have to accomplish, right? It doesn't have to be a, like a physical test. I'm not talking about like back in the days where you had to do the trials of Hercules, for example, right? Yeah. But what I'm thinking is that when you're put in the position, let's say in Canada here, it's mostly 18, 19, right? Let's say at the age of 19. And you get your community together, right? Which is something we definitely have to bring back. 
and you say that I am a man and you proclaim it to your community of men, community of mentors, elders. This is why I'm a man. And you list your accomplishments. I'm a man because of this. I'm a man because of this. I'm a man because of this. And you have other men, 60, 70, 30, 40, cheering you on because some of your accomplishments were their accomplishments when they're your age. I think if we can do something like that, not only will a young man feel proud, he has the support of his community and it's a proclamation. And then, of course, you're going to have women who are going to be around and other people's going to be around and they're going to be cheering this person on. I don't think there's a celebration into manhood anymore. And I don't even think people understand what manhood is like you go online you hear everything that manhood and masculinity isn't yeah right oh you're masculine man you must beat your wife you might you must want her to be barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen you must want her doing the laundry she never sees outdoors she has no friends was there a time where that happened absolutely is that what we're talking about no right but what we want is the celebration are you taking care of the the woman you have at home? Are you making sure she's safe? Are you making sure she's, she's secure? If there's noise in the middle of the night, are you the one to go down there? Or are you telling her to go down there? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> because that does, that does happen sometimes these yeah. days, right? Yeah.